Hello, I'm Nigel Cooper and welcome to this online buyer's guide to HD camcorders. I would just like to point out that this isn't a product review, it is in fact a brief overview of the camera so you can get an idea as to the market it's aimed at, the unique features of the camera, the kind of media it records to and the price. So this camera is the Sony HXR NX5 and it's a solid state camera. It's basically a Z5 but it only records to solid state with these SDAC cards or Sony's own memory sticks or indeed this removable 128 gigabyte flash drive. Now, while I'm talking about the flash drive, I'll just mention that the unique thing about this, it's not a hard drive, as in a spinning hard drive, it is in fact flash, and there's no cables, no firewire cable between the device and the camera. So reliability of this is gonna be really good. On the back here, you've got two card slots for the SC8C cards. Um, one 32 gigabyte card will give you 170 minutes recording time in maximum quality whereas the flash drive on the side will give you approximately 11 hours in maximum quality. Now, the thing I like about the NX5, the technology all the way through the camera is brand new and up to date. A lot of people think that um, to have a good quality picture it needs a good lens or it needs a good codec or it needs good CCDs. I personally think they're all wrong. I think a camera needs a combination of all three. And for the price, this camera has all three. It's got a really good quality Sony G lens, which is built in-house by Sony. So Sony have moved away from the Leica lens and they've now got their own. And this really is a cracking lens. It's super sharp. Um, moving to the middle section, the CCDs are Sony's latest ClearVid CMOS sensors with Exmor processing. Now, basically what that means, the Exmor processing will improve the picture quality but the good thing about it is it means you can shoot in lower lighting than ever before and still get a very smooth image. And if you crank up the gain settings to plus three, plus six or plus nine, you're not going to get all that noise that we had of yesteryear. You're going to get a really clean super image. It's also a brand new codec that this camera uses. It's um, the new AVCHD, which stands for Advanced Video High Definition. And it's a more up to date and more um, compression efficient codec over the HDV one. Um, Moving around to the back of this camera, you've got various inputs and outputs. One of the most important ones is the HDMI, which is great because you can now plug in budget-priced HDMI monitors into this camera, so you don't have to buy the expensive broadcast production monitors anymore. You can just buy a, a, a cheap monitor and mount it on the hot shoe on the top of the camera and come out of the HDMI. It's also got an SDI output as well, so you can come out of there um, uncompressed, 422 color space, if you attach another recording device to the back. The NS5's also got some other unique features, one of which is a built-in GPS. Now, you might be thinking, why would a camera need a built-in GPS system? But this is really clever, because what it will do, it will actually track and tell you exactly where you were when you shot the clips. So, for example, you could be a wedding videographer, and you might be shooting three weddings over the course of a week and a half, two weeks, before you get around to editing them. And you might need to know which church you shot individual clips in, so they don't get mixed up. So what this will do, it will tell you to an accuracy of about 20 feet exactly where you were when you shot it. Now to do this, it's simply a case of going into the metadata and you pull that out and convert it into Google Maps and you can pinpoint exactly where you were. This would um, probably be really helpful also for documentary filmmakers that are filming documented over a period of time, again, where they need to know where they were when they shot the clips. Um, another great feature of the camera is the audio. It's moved away from the... Um, more compressed HDV type audio, and it's now linear PCM 16 bit, so it's uncompressed CD quality. Now, independent filmmakers will love this that are used to using uh, an external DAT machine because the quality of this for the audio is now the equivalent of DAT or CD. So, turning the camera around, the NS5 has got a really good quality built in LCD screen, which is great for composition and even checking your color balance after white balancing. All the switches on the camera are well laid out and um, easy to find and very clearly marked, so it's pretty obvious what they all do. The resolution of the NS5 is 1920 by 1080 and it shoots in 50 interlaced as well as 25p progressive and it also has a standard def DV cam shooting mode. The Sony NS5 has a list price of approximately £4,180 plus VAT, but that does exclude the flash drive which it attaches onto the side. This has a list price of approximately just under £1,000 plus VAT. Now, um, the camera is ideally suited for corporate, event and special interest video type work, but independent low-budget filmmakers will also love this camera because of its progressive scan shooting. 
Now I've got to take my hat off to Sony here because not only does it record to their own memory sticks but it also records to these very affordable and cost effective SD8C cards. So that's a, a really great feature of this camera and if you haven't worked on solid state before this will cut down your workflow by about 50% because you no longer have to mark in and out points from old tapes and sit around all day waiting for them to be captured. Instead you can delete the clips that are bad as you go along and then when it comes to editing, you can just drag the whole lot into your edit suite and you know that all those takes are good. The NS5 also comes with a remote control. So the NS5 has a great combination of a good quality lens, fantastic quality CMOS sensors and a really nice modern codec. So that's the Sony NS5. Thank you for watching.